Hey, what's up guys? I'm from Haifa, which is a little town in Israel which you probably never heard about. And the reason I'm telling you this is because I was always curious, how do we go from this little town to New York City? How do we go from not knowing something at all to really knowing it? What I wanna do today is talk about 10 points that really made things click for me and I'm super excited to share with you guys. One, be optimistic. You have to believe. Now, a lot of people will share their path with you and their path is not your path. It could be similar, but it could also be very different. It's a great idea to learn from people, but you're gonna find your own path. And I think being optimistic and positive about things tremendously helps. Two, that's a big one, talent. I do not believe in talent. I do believe in a lot of hard work and a lot of willingness. I'm not trying to say there aren't talented people that absorb patterns faster than others, whether it's in music or in poetry, in literature, whatever it is. But you can work on these things if you really, but really want it. Three, mental image. What I suggest you do if you want to get better at whatever it is, if it's swimming, running, reading, playing music, singing, you need to find someone, that's the L train, you need to find someone that has a better mental image of the thing than you. We all do it all the time, but I think consciously finding someone that really knows the craft well and hitting her or him to take lessons, and that should be also regularly, preferably once a week. Mental image. Four, prioritizing. Schedule time to do the actions that you care about so much. So again, if you want to swim, swim. If you want to run, run. If you want to play guitar, schedule two hours in your calendar that you know you're going to practice guitar. Maybe put your phone off or silent. Maybe do a five minutes meditation so you can focus. But take two hours of your time in the calendar, not randomly after everything and then designate that time to practice and work on the craft. Five, you. Take care of yourself. Take care of your body. Eat, sleep, drink a lot of water. You know, we're trying to learn this complex craft of music or anything else, but we need to treat the system with a lot of respect. We need to sleep to change the memories from short term to long term. We need to do these actions so we actually learn better and faster. Six, we're in it for the long run. Some of the processes takes weeks, some takes months, and some take years. Now, it's okay. We are going to play music for a very long time. So two years are actually not that long. So, you know, if you don't know how to listen and how to hear harmonic progressions, or you don't know how to write notation, or you don't understand some theory, you can take your time, dive deep, and learn it. These processes will take time, but again, two years is not a long time in the span of a lifetime if you really love music and care about it deeply. Seven, you do not need to know everything. I would try to articulate for myself what I need to know, what style. If I want to learn blues, I'm going to focus on that. Now, I'm not saying you can't check out other things, but be clear with what you're trying to learn. Don't try to do everything. Be very focused about what you're trying to study. Eight, tigers. Now, unfortunately, we tend to remember the bad things. If I'm gonna ask you about all the great hangs with your friends, with your girlfriend, with your wife, it's all a big blur because it was great. <laughs> now, if I'm gonna ask you about the gig that you missed the plane, you missed the gig, oh, you're gonna tell me in fine details exactly what happened there. This mechanism is here to protect the system. So, you know, if you see a tiger, you understand that's dangerous. If you touch the stove and it's hot, you're gonna do it once so you don't destroy the system. So, there are no fires and no tigers and no snakes running around when you're playing music. Hopefully, usually. 
So we still have that mechanism of defense. So when we're playing a bad show or a bad gig, we tend to engrave that in our memory on such a deep level that it's actually disturbing. So try to push back and not let that mechanism of survival to function when you're studying and working on music. Nine, don't judge. Don't judge yourself when you're doing the action. What I mean by that is when you're practicing and playing C major scale or whatever it is that you're working on, don't tell yourself, oh, this is the worst C major scale the universe have ever seen, or this is the best C major scale this universe have ever seen. These are judgments. That means that you're spending some CPU power doing the action, but you're actually also spending some CPU power in the judgment. So what I'm suggesting is do not break the CPU power. Basically, don't judge. Just focus on the action, focus on the study and the practice when you're there. It's kind of like being at the moment when you're experiencing it. Of course, it's hard to do. That's why music is not that easy. 10. If you made it till here, you probably really care about music. So when I was 13, my mom, my dad and my brother uh, were reading a song for me. The song was a beautiful poem by Konstantin Kawapis. It's called Itaka. He has all these amazing experiencing fighting monsters and traveling and he's trying to get to Itaka. But when he gets there, it's just a small village. But the road to Itaka. I feel music and maybe life is the same thing. You know, we have a lot of ups and downs. Sometimes it's amazing, sometimes it's really hard, but it's a path. And I feel like if you really care and you really want it, you can make it happen. It is gonna be hard at times, but it's also gonna be amazing. It's a really cool and fun road to take if you're willing to do the jump. Thank you so much for taking the time and listening. I hope these points are helpful. To me, they were super helpful and it took me quite some years to understand these points. And of course, it's always a process. I'm always trying to understand and learn and get better and be more at peace with myself and be able to focus on what I'm trying to do. All right, peace out. I'll see you guys very soon.